Right, so we're now on the other side of one of the storm barriers in a new chapter and a new island group. Uh, each island group is larger than the one before with more islands to explore. We've got a wind blowing perpendicular to our travel direction here, so we'll keep the sail taut for now. Uh, this can tip the boat over if it hasn't been built stably enough, but this is just a grass sail and it doesn't catch a whole lot of breeze, so we'll be fine here. A new island group means new resources, new creatures and challenges to get to grips with. Now we appear to be on a rocky bamboo island, so first things first we'll ensure that we're prepared for this new area with a quick check of the inventory. Uh, a simple grass sling will be handy here since it'll let us make use of all the rocks that are scattered about and use them as projectiles. Uh, it's pretty effective as long as you manage to hit something. Now we can see a couple of young razorbacks walking around in the long grass here. Uh, they make for a relatively easy target with the rock. Make sure you keep in mind that where there are young razorbacks, mum is not usually far away. Uh, she doesn't take kindly to the threats to her family and she doesn't go down without a fight. Uh, but if you manage to defeat one, Razorbacks offer a good amount of useful resources with uh, meat, bone and hide. Now you are able to go ahead and eat raw meat if you're in a pinch, uh, but you won't actually recover any health. All that'll do is keep your hunger at bay. Uh, so if you can, you're always better off making a fire if you don't already have one, uh, putting it on to cook and making sure you get the most out of your hunt. Right now, meat will take a little while to cook, so we'll go ahead, explore this island a bit and see if we can gather some resources while we wait. Alright, so a keen eye will have spotted the plane stalker up there in the distance, so we've got to be a bit careful. They're the size of a lion and about as aggressive as one too. Uh, sometimes you'll just find them asleep amongst the scattered bones of their prey, uh, but when they're not, they are super agile expert predators. Now, you may have also noticed the change in the music here, and that's indicating that we're near either some ruins or a tower. Our composer utilized throat singers in the compositions which relate to the past civilizations. Now we're still a bit low on health from the fight with the Razorback, uh, so we'll avoid the Plane Stalker for now and keep looking for some other resources. Uh, that meat that we put on to cook should be done pretty soon and that'll be helpful before we face this predator. So there's only so much that Kara can carry in her inventory at a given time. Uh, but on this island we picked up a lot of materials that are going to be really handy for boat building. Uh, so before we head back in, we'll go ahead, we'll do a few upgrades on our boat and that'll also give us a bit more inventory space. Right, so we're in pretty good shape now, so we should hopefully be able to take on that plane stalker.
All right, so as you can see, that battle was pretty close. Uh, it took a lot out of Kara, but it was well worth it for those Planestalker horns, and as well as getting some more meat and hide. 